The uh, uh, pr uh, Prize Center next year. I did so many, and the children went find my union that I could stop doing my work. Although somehow people found out that I did a voice on the career red episode, and I didn't tell anyone. I'm also planning on doing what I did. But that was because we needed people. Yeah, David Walsh. David Walsh. Yeah, I was there. The engineering director bunch when I couldn't do it because we were doing we did the uh, Irish show, the Mystic Night show. I went to to Ireland for three months, and so David did overall directing skills while I was gone. And so that was a that's my portal stuff. Yes, but I would do this voice over there sometimes as well. There's actually another story about that for the Mystic Knights things were over there, and I, I still had to work on the Power Ranger shows there, and so they would send them to me, and I would approve the scripts and everything, and, and all the Irish stuff guys would come in and go, Jesus, look what they're doing. And they couldn't believe it was actually happening. And so they never watched the shows with me, it was very fun. Really just forgot how to do it over time? All of them except for Torgo and Dexter and stuff. I actually felt really bad when I finished the, the Power Rangers series here. And, uh, a lot of the guys who I helped get started in the voice and business and directing were directing shows, so I said, well, I tried to pull some favors and have them come bring me and do some stuff. So they got me in this one anime series, I can't remember if it was 12 Kingdom or something like that, that I thought was supposed to be a one shot deal because the anime is not my forte for acting. They're always serious. I'm a silly person. And so um, I got this one part on Twelve Kingdoms, and it was supposed to be a one-time deal. And all this was like 15 or 20 episodes, and I pissed them off, and then I come back and do all these things. He wasn't planning on that, but it was fun and things. And I can't remember what the I think that voice, I forgot what it was. So yeah, all of them. <laughs> I did, I did some tattoos myself, though. I mean, everything was melt, would melt, you know. 
<laughs> well, we'll see, we just, we just melt. And it was pretty, yeah. <laughs> Interesting, girl, Some question about forever red. I thought that you needed special. What, didn't we do this episode? Yeah. It was kind of a more of a stand thing. Yeah. 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 Was, was that a McDonald's thing or something? That was triple four. It might be. Yeah, okay. There was some, it was just such a weird cluster when they put it all together. There was no real reason. They just they, it was like the anniversary to put it all together and bring it all back. And we tried doing it. Some people were difficult to get back to others. And some people got back and said, oh, God, how do we get back? <laughs> yeah. I tried to bring everybody back. I was trying to keep everybody really. Even if they brought back their voice, and then like I brought Brad Hawkins back for voices for um, the Gold Ranger, and brought him back. Because I was just trying to, because I liked these guys. The ones I liked, I tried to bring back. The ones I didn't, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and you did directing. I directed a uh, year cast on uh, that episode of two scenes, and that was really fun. I got a picture of that there. Sean Johnson. Sean did too. Sean you know, John, near the end there was letting us all direct for a while. And I was. Jonathan's, let's just say John, I was very lucky because I was one of the only people that Jonathan didn't change and stuff after I shot it. So that was unheard of. Did you ever get any input on maybe uh, your character's story arc or maybe there was a line that you, this is what Did you ever get any input on your character? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> you did with me. Music and films and everything else. My 17th job is I'm a scuba instructor. 
And so I was teaching the anti-rescue class because it was good for the stunt guys to go for the rescue part of it. And if we get in the pool, everything's fine. The next time we get in the pool, it's football swimming. We won't really tell me what's going on. But we have to go to the beach the next day. And we don't have to have that. He's kind of limping. We get to the beach. This, the rescue class is hard. We would throw people out of the water. They got to get rescued from the waves. You got to carry people. It's, it's great as an instructor because I can point and laugh and watch the uh, people that hurt. Ed didn't complain, does everything, and then he finishes the new, finishes the next day at the beach, he goes, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, I dropped a railroad tie on my foot, and broke it in 25 places. Awesome. So he shouldn't be able to walk. Some guys are insane. <laughs> and then the next day, I go, you go to the hospital after this? Well, I'm, I'm riding to San Diego from Malibu on my bike, so uh, maybe after that. <laughs> Stunt guys. The Once Rangers team up. I know we're starting the new series. Do you think any time in the future for Power Rangers, there might be another like, team up in comparison to like, hold a new like that again? First off, what's the Once Rangers series? Was that after month? Yeah, I didn't. You mean they made stuff after I left the show? God damn it. I think I remember that. They, they pulled a bunch of footage from other things, and I remember all the Rangers were upset that they were getting paid for. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know what? I don't know. I don't know how the relationship ended with Disney and Saban. Um, Heim's a genius, so whatever he pulls off is great. I wish they'd bring the show back here. I think it looked better than it did in the uh, stuff over there from what I saw of it. And sound. Sound. Oh, man. I, I was supposed to go over and do the show over there, but I kind of got into trouble with uh, somebody, and so they kind of changed their mind the day before the flight. Um, <laughs> so they changed it. I have a question for you guys. Did you guys like the New Zealand stuff or? Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. Eh. Uh, <laughs> I like the originals better. Yeah. yeah. I like the originals better. Yeah. I just saw I saw a few of the New Zealand things and I, I wasn't too like. I was close. Yeah, I know. I thought it's the same stuff. Stuff. I I was just a little upset that we spent all these years getting these uh these th the way things are supposed to be done with the voiceover stuff. The, the people are supposed to speak at certain times. Hein was really uh, Hein's Bob was really specific about the, you speak you see the Rangers and the Zords they talk you don't talk when the Zords are fighting. So don't talk over there. Don't talk over there. So, uh, so I saw some Zealand stuff. They just talked where they wanted to, yeah. and it, I, that, that kind of you know, wasn't my hands. So I couldn't do much about it. But, um, but you know, the guys here were the, the Judd, I mean, yeah. uh, Chip was involved with last night. I see that, but, and Doug and Andrew and stuff. They knew better. But I think just kind of got over it. Disney's a very odd place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could, I could tell. Everything was said when you guys found out that everything was changing. 